Well, hello everyone. Excuse my wild hair. I had it up in a high ponytail and a bun all day. And when I take it down, this is what we get. My wild mane. So I am back for another face mask video. I'm currently doing a series on the Glam Glow um, uh, masks, the mud masks. And if you've watched any of the other videos, I apologize, but I'm going to show you this again. I got five of the Glam Glow masks, all of them, or one, two, three, I got six. <laughs> um, <coughs> they're little mini trial sizes. Here you go. Um, for $39. And I will say this every single video I do on this. Um, if you can get minis, get them. Because you don't know if you're going to really like a mask or not. And the masks that I uh, generally will do these um, reviews on are expensive. And I know I would be sorely disappointed if I spent anywhere really even $20 all the way up to, you know, some face masks, which I'll probably never do until I win the lottery. Um, you know, run 300, 400, $500. I've seen reviews on masks that are like $2,000. They have gold in them, real gold. Crazy. Anyway, we're on the second to last one, and this is the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. And it says on the Glam Glow website, originally designed as a 10-minute professional facial in a jar, for behind-the-scenes use in Hollywood's entertainment, music, fashion, and award industries. Youth Mud provides gentle resurfacing exfoliation and helps to leave skin smoother, brighter, and softer, resulting in immediate camera-ready glowing skin for men and women. Get your youthful, sexy glow back in just 10 minutes. Youth Mud for super sexy, super radiant skin. Hey, I'm all about that. We'll see how much, how radiant I am at the end of this, okay? How to use. Stir and apply a thin layer to clean face. Expect a tingle-tastic tingling effect in 10 minutes or less. Remove mask with water in circular motions to exfoliate. Use twice a week or as desired. So I am going to, I have makeup on right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face. You should always do masks, obviously, on a clean face. Um, and so I'll apply this in front of you and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let me just take a brief moment to share something with you. I love music. I love so many different kinds of music. Like I can't even begin to tell you the spectrum of what I like just to prove like how eclectic my musical taste is, but I will say, while there have been highlights, the 2000s have generally been sort of disappointing for me uh, with the, the way that technology and music production has changed. I just feel, I feel like a lot of heart has gone out of music and I don't know anyway I want to make this quick I very rarely discover new music that blows me away to the point where I feel high like that's what good music does to me and I am a huge fan of Led Zeppelin and about maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago now, I discovered a band called Royal Blood. And they blew me away. They're so good that I actually downloaded the whole album. Usually I'll just get a song or two. I discovered a band today. And maybe I'm late to this party because 
they have actually uh, they've been around since 2012. They're incredibly young. They're like late teens. Um, but they are called Greta Van Fleet. And oh my God. Oh my God. If you didn't already know every song that Led Zeppelin had ever put out, like if I had heard this on the radio, I would have thought that they discovered some old tunes that had never been released and that they decided to release them. This kid's voice is on flipping believable. What is the song? Hang on. We're going to go to YouTube very quickly. Sorry to do this. Like, this is obnoxious. But I don't care. And I can't play it on YouTube because I... Um, I don't know how to do the whole... Um, what do you call it? Like, to get permission to use the music and YouTube, you know, is crazy about that. Which... Really, they should be. Okay. Uh, search. Sorry. I should have had this ready. It's called Highway Tune. They took the riff um, from the song. Um, I think it's called... Is it called... Uh, it's off of Physical Graffiti... As I call graffiti. I think it's called the Rover. Yep. They took the riff from that song, and what they have done is amazing, but it's this kid's voice. It will blow you away. I want you to check out Highway Song by Greta Van Fleet. If you're a Led Zeppelin fan, and comment on this video and tell me what you think. All right. Oh, it's weird. It's like a green color and it smells really good. I feel like I did this one. No, I did the, that orange one. Okay. Anyway, this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and start applying it. And you don't, I feel like I'm talking really loud. Yeah, I didn't use this one before. You don't um, start doing the exfoliation piece right now. I think I read the how to use. So um, it's just a matter of getting this on my face right now, leaving it on for 10 minutes, and then I'm going to exfoliate with, um, oh yeah, it's already starting to tingle. I hate doing this. Like, I have to get, like, a little table and mirror and tripod. The smell, it's actually really good, but it's really, holy shit, it's strong. Yeah, I'm very fresh and tingly feeling. I like this. So anyway, you put this on, right? You can see better than I have probably missed spots. I noticed that in the last video I did. Um, I always do my chin and my neck too. Cause I need a partial facelift. Cause my neck is doing this thing. God, this feels wonderful. I like this. I like it a lot. Okay. You know what? I know how I can check. Darn it. Didn't even think of this. I can put my camera on and look at my face. I feel... Hmm. My daughter is talking to me.
I'll be right there, honey. Um, it starts to dry really quick, so it's hard to get this on evenly. And you're going to have to like the smell, because it's wonderful, but it's strong. All right, I'm just going to keep this on for 10 minutes. And then uh, what you do is you take a little bit of water on your fingertips and start doing the whole circular motion thing and um, <clears throat> exfoliate and then you rinse it off. Um, this feels fabulous. It's cooling. I really like it. It definitely is tingling. And I will be back in 10 minutes to finish up. Thanks. Well, here I am. Do I look radiant to you? Uh, final thoughts. I wouldn't buy this one. This one also retails for $59. And then there's a bigger one for 70 something. I didn't look to see if there's a mini of this one. The minis usually run 24 bucks. Excuse me, I have something on my tongue. Um, it dried, it got really dry, kind of like a um, clay mask, and the tingling was very subtle, which is fine. Smells good, but like I said, really overpowering, the smell. It's really, really strong. Um, I, I wouldn't invest money in this. I make my own masks with kale and clay, and... I could do this. It was really, really messy. Um, when I put the water on my fingertips and started exfoliating because it was so dry, there was stuff falling off, there was stuff that wouldn't come off. I ended up, um, after trying to, you know, do some of the exfoliation, I just took a washcloth to get the rest of it off. So this is probably my least favorite of the Glam Glow masks, and that's just my opinion. Uh, I will be doing, finally, the Gravity Mud Mask, which I'm so excited about. I thought I was going to do it this week, but I hadn't done all the masks yet, so I'll do that one next week. All right, have a great week. Bye!